Oh no, not again. Good luck, Roger. Chinese chess is totally new to me. Come on, guys. I really want to visit the Beijing Central Axis. You know, the Italian explorer Marco Polo visited here more than 700 years ago. In his book, he wrote, The streets are so straight and wide, the entire city is arranged in squares, just like a chessboard. So what is the Central Axis really about? A street? Marco Polo may be right, because if you visualize the city as a chessboard, there's really a central axis running through in the middle. So it's uh, like a 7.8 kilometers long, and it's expands from north to south. There are about 15 heritage components on the central axis. Wow. How will we visit all of them? Yeah. That'll take ages. Actually, there's a simple way. We can bike through the central axis in about three hours. Wow, really? Yeah. Then what are we waiting for? Okay, let's go cycling. Let me bring my camera and check. Oh, hello everyone. Hi. I'm David. I will be your tour guide today. So I'm going to show you around the central axis of Beijing mm -hmm. uh, on this cycling tour. It's about 24 kilometers long, a little bit too long. But don't be worried, we have this special e-bike. When you paddle, it gives you assistance from the electricity. Would you please go and take a peek your backs? Are you guys ready to go? Yes! Let's go! Let's go! The of Beijing consists of three sections. The southern part, which starts from here to the Tianmen area, the middle part, which extends from Tianmen area to the Jingshan Park, and the northern part, which starts from Jingshan Park to the Drum Tower and Bell Tower. Look! So grand! As you know that this is the Yongjinmen Gate, the starting point of the central axis from the south. Yongjinmen was the main gate at the southern wall of the outer city of Beijing in the Ming and Qing dynasties. It is located at the southern end of the central axis of Beijing, and it served as the main passageway for entering and exiting the city from the south. From ancient buildings to modern structures, the axis adheres to the ancient notion of selecting the center, expressing the philosophical concepts of harmony and symmetry that are deeply cherished in Chinese civilization. So what do you think of this Yongjinmen Gate? Well, I'm imagining myself coming here in another century and being pretty intimidated by the giant lions and by the wall, wondering what's on the other side of that gate after a long journey. I think it's a really magical place. I really love it. I love how all the small components, they complement each other and there's always two of everything, such as the animals and the gate. I like the feeling that it kind of creates harmony and also safety. Yeah. Okay, now we are heading to the first world cultural heritage along the central axis. It's called the Temple of Heaven. It was constructed by Emperor Yongle in the Ming Dynasty and the Temple of Heaven has the same age as the Forbidden City. It is said that the emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasties used to visit the temple to worship and uh, offer sacrifices to the heaven free for favorable weather and bountiful harvest, right? Yes, correct. This is Shen Yue Shu, the Divine Music Administration, the administrative institution in charge of the teaching and training of imperial ceremonial and ritual music. How many instruments were used in this performance? We have a Hey, 
，梁老师你好，嗨，大家好，这次咱们的中轴线骑行活动，嗯，我也为大家送了一点小小的祝福，嗯，这儿呢有我精绣的一个小小的文创，它上面绣的是龙。嗯，正好配合咱们中轴线的这个整个的一条线，相当于咱们的龙脉的一个传承，也希望咱们的骑行一路顺利。<笑>好香啊！对，完全是中药的。香草，我又看不出 China。啊<笑>、oh, ，good， 是是，啊，不客气。<笑>好的，谢谢李老师，谢谢。好，祝你们一路顺利。Okay, now we will have a 20 minutes non-stop cycling to the northeastern corner of the Forbidden City. Tianmen Gate. We will pass by the Chang'an Avenue and the Tiananmen Square. You see the red wall? It's so pretty. Now, as we ride along the central axis. We can see clearly why it is dubbed the spine of the city's culture. Yes, I can see the concept of the spine because so many royal palaces, gardens, and temples are built along it. Yes, so many ancient buildings. It's an oasis in a modern, bustling city. You can see how Beijing looked hundreds of years ago. Also, it represents the historic and symbolic aspects of Beijing's cultural heritage, serving as a prominent pathway that connects the city's past and present. It's a testament to the city's ability to preserve and promote its rich cultural heritage. Now we are heading to the Jingshan Park. Everybody, continue our journey on the bike through the central axis. Over the years, Beijing has implemented a series of measures to retain the traditional touches of the central axis and its cultural heritage, including relocating residents or units on prime heritage protected sites, improving surrounding environment, and using digital tools to empower the preservation. Jingshan is the highest point accessible on the central axis. Everything is sort of in one line, so you can almost see it all at once from this perspective, especially, and that makes you feel really like you are in the middle of something really important and historical, right in the center. It feels like the layout was planned, like it was planned to be the capital. Everything's symmetrical and just right. Check. Check. The Wanning Bridge, the oldest bridge along Beijing's central axis, is the only surviving Yuan Dynasty bridge in the capital that is still used for transportation. It stands as a testament to ancient water conservancy technology, with its unique design embodying the achievement of ancient craftsmen in flood prevention and navigation. The Wanning Bridge witnessed the transformation and utilization of the Grand Canal, the world's longest man-made canal. The bridge is flanked by expertly carved bista-shaped structures, water-controlled bists on its eastern and western sides. These mystical creatures embody ancient people's aspiration to prevent floods and their prayer for good fortune. Check. Check. We have now arrived at the northern end of the central axis of Beijing. Drum tower and bell tower. Bells and drums are used as musical instrument in ancient China, and now they evolved into tools for timekeeping. Today, to talk about Beijing Central Axis, in fact, is to talk about this complete design pattern. 建筑形态包括了故宫，包括了天坛，它背后的这个城市规划、思想背后的哲学思想的表达，就是历史是一个连续的线，而这个线，它体现了我们在这样的一个遗产当中的这种空间的形态、这种建筑形态，所证明了它的规划思想的延续性，由此而说明我们的文明是延续。啊，这些观念无论是在古代还是今天，依然对中国有着重要的意义。I can't believe we have finished our tour of the central axis just in a few hours. Yeah, and we got to see so much history. Yes, you know, Beijing has become the city with the most wealth heritage in the world. So, how do you feel about its cycling journey? I'm so happy to see the once imperial sites allowing ordinary citizens to visit. We can all enjoy Beijing's ancient, unique charm.、Mm. 
And today the city has evolved into a modern metropolis. Royal palaces, gardens, and temples have become public parks and museums. Yeah, and our tour was the perfect way to see a fusion of the old and the new of the city. And I'm so happy that I got to see all the famous sites. I highly recommend this tour. Okay, now let's take another picture. Cycling through the atmosphere, Beijing's heart for it.